Hey, what's up guys? Today I have a couple things to show you that I added to my home network. Uh, this will just be a quick update. Um, not a whole lot has changed since the last um, home network tour from, to, from 2014. Anyways, let's see what, what I've added. So, first things first. Don't mind this antique cave modem. Don't even picture it there. So I'm still using the same TP-Link router, trend that switch, mono, mono price uh, patch panel, Ubiquity Unify access point, blah, blah, blah. Everything's still working perfectly. Um, but you see that thing blinking up top? That is a AccuWrite, AccuLink bridge that connects to my outdoor weather station. Uh, basically what it does is it gathers the data from the sensor like wind speed, wind gusts, wind direction, uh, temperature, humidity, rainfall, etc. And it sends that data to their software called My Backyard Weather, which sucks. I'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, from their software you can post it to Weather Underground. That's pretty much it. So the problem with the AccuWrite software is that it only shares the data online to Weather Underground every 15 minutes. That's sort of, that's sort of a problem because temperatures, rain, and wind can change within 15 minutes. So I added this cool device down here. This is a TP-Link router. I'm not exactly sure what model it is, but I'll leave it in the description below. This router has a custom OpenWRT firm firmware called Meteor Bridge. It connects to the weather, I mean, sorry, to the AccuLink bridge up there via Ethernet. So basically, what it does is it collects the raw data from the sensor directly and sends it to weatherunderground.com or various other weather stations. It posts the data every five seconds. So far, I've been getting a lot more better readings using the Meteor Bridge versus just the AccuLink.com site. So it's very, very, very cool stuff. So why did I get a uh, weather station, this sort of high-tech weather station? Well, the weather forecasts around here are just not that accurate, I find. So I decided to get one, and this way I can record wind gusts. We get some pretty good wind gusts around here. And we get a lot of rain sometimes. And the stuff you see on TV and online weather sites just doesn't add up from where I live. So, I, I don't know. I think it's something fun to do. It's, it, it doesn't cost a whole lot. If you're into meteorology, I definitely recommend you buying a web weather station. Anyways, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.